Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan, and today we're going to be checking out the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Wingnut and Screw Loose 2 pack from NECA Toys. That is right, my friends. It's been a while since I've taken a look at one of the NECA Team and T sets, but this one here is one I was particularly excited for because I have always been a big fan of the vintage Wingnut and Screw Loose action figures. So I was really happy to see them get the cartoon action figure treatment in the NECA toy line. And NECA kind of surprised us with these by putting them up for sale on their website. So I just got mine in from my order and we're going to dive right in and check these out. As you can see, the figures do come in that same style window box packaging that we've been seeing for the NECA line with that yellow and green kind of turtle van motif here with some new artwork of the characters right there in the corners on the front, the window fully showcasing our action figures on the inside. And as we rotate this around to the back, we get a nice shot of the two figures as well as a cross sell showing some of the other great figures like Ground Chuck and Dirtbag, which is the other new two pack set that uh, I will definitely be taking a look at very soon but for now let's go ahead and rip this box open and get a closer look at those action figures all right so we've got our wing nut and screw loose action figures outside of the packaging let me start by bringing in the tape measure here so you can see how these guys measure up i will say wing nut is a chunky boy man like that is a big solid figure height wise you can see his ears and like his wings bring him up to almost a full seven inches tall you can see not quite there and then screw loose over here is about four and a half inches tall um so you know we got a good size difference here and of course these are inspired by their appearance in the original cartoon series which is what the NECA line focuses on and in that show they were depicted as aliens instead of mutants like in the toy line and they were villains for the turtles so a bit of a different uh depiction for the characters however a uh, wing nut specifically but both of them are very accurate to their toys in their cartoon appearance that wasn't always the case um of course more simply in the overall design you're not as gross looking as say all the details we would see on the vintage playmates wing nut figure but i will say that the uh the neca action figures here do a really good job of capturing that overall look i love the bright colors on these guys i think the paintwork is really clean for the most part um maybe with the exception of screw loose like we do have some black dots you can kind of see like on his chest and his nose over here that i don't think are supposed to be there and we've also got a bit of a yellow paint smudge on his wing back here it's real light i'm not even sure if that's coming through on the shot there um, but for the most part they look very clean Wingnut specifically looks real clean on this particular figure. Now, the paint deco is sort of that flat paint that we've seen on all of these figures. And of course, they've got that heavy black outline kind of outlining all the details, which is supposed to give them that cell shaded or animated look. And it's pretty cool looking. But one of the things about that flat paint that has been a consistent issue for me with all of these NECA figures is that it does have a tendency to be a bit chalky sometimes and it flakes and chips off. Specifically, when you start moving the joints around for the first time, you're definitely going to get a a lot of paint flaking off on all of those joints that happened with both of these guys as soon as i pulled it out pulled them out of the package um so if you're already familiar with these you probably already expect that like i do but like i said if there's one consistent complaint that i have with these uh it's that that the paint flakes like that usually it's not too bad where it flakes off the figure i've had it happen a few times in the past like with rat king but so far with these guys i don't have really big paint chunks missing on the figures so that is pretty good so let's go ahead and focus on some more of the details on Wingnut here. I actually really love the look of this guy. And like I said, his vintage action figure was a favorite of mine. Um, and this is very similar to what we saw uh, on the action figure. He kind of is dressed like a superhero. He's supposed to sort of be like a Batman spoof of sorts. One of the things that I've always loved uh, is one of his character traits is that he's got these tiny little real bat wings that he built these giant metal wings over so that he's got bigger wings. Uh, so it's 
it's very cool looking on the figure here and you can see that these are all one mold here but they're sculpted in such a way that it really does look like he's got these metal wings strapped to his actual organic wings which is very cool looking and you can see there's lots of little rivets and everything in the wings he's got little gun cannons like little turrets up here at the top they almost look like little gatling guns uh, and then he's got little rocket boosters on the bottom all of these are permanently attached they are non-removable from the wings but you can see that the wings are jointed they got hinge joints there on the back so they can flap you can kind of see where that paint's peeling off like i talked about on there but we can flap the wings there as well as move them kind of around in a circle you can move them up and down so that is very nice he's also got this tiny little tail hill here look at that look at that little bitty tail it's also on a hinge joint there it can swivel around as well so pretty cool stuff but yeah i really like the overall look with this guy he does have his yellow belt with the little bat emblem there. You might notice, if you are a fan of the vintage figure like me, that his chest looks a little plain. Now, this is accurate to the way he looked in the animated series, but I want to show you one of the things that NECA included is a little sticker sheet. Now, this sticker sheet does include a brand new wanted poster, which, of course, you can use for your diorama display if you have it, but it also does come with the little W chest emblem. Now, this is to make him a little more accurate to the way the vintage toy looked, or some of the other artwork we've seen him where he actually has the w on his chest so it's a sticker and if you want to apply it that is something that you can do i honestly don't know what this other sticker is right here if that's supposed to be something i'm sure you guys can let me know i tried to look it up i couldn't find it so but i do think it's really cool that he comes with that little w emblem so if you want to put it on there you can i think i'm gonna leave mine without it um just because i want to keep um cartoon accurate so that's that's what i'm deciding to do um he does come with some inter changeable hands which is pretty cool so you can see we've got the closed fists on there right now it's very easy actually to pop those hands out of socket so that you can replace them with some uh, open clawed hands there he's got those which are really nice and then he's also got two gripping hands now as gripping hands you can see he's actually got a trigger finger there because he does come with this large blaster accessory uh, which is very cool looking again the details are very similar to what we've seen with all the weapons in this line so far it's a bit of a light kind of hollow plastic there but it does have a nice paint deco it seems pretty clean but again we've got some scratching on the handle and this is because I've already put it in his hand once and immediately boom I got paint rub on the handle so that is a bummer again I think that is a trait of this sort of chalky flat, flat paint that they use on these to get that more flat animated appearance on the figures it's just a bummer that we get that um, kind of paint scratching there but you can see he does hold on to that blaster very nicely so you can arm up your wing nut if that is something that you want to do so we haven't even done this yet. Let's go ahead and talk about all the other articulation with this guy. I already showed you the wings. Uh, of course, he's big and chunky, like I mentioned. He's very heavy. I love the heft with this guy. He feels real solid. I mean, look at that big round body he's got there. He's kind of hunched forward. Um, so you can see he's jointed at two places in his neck. It's down in the base of the neck there, as well as up in the head. So that allows the head to look left and right. And you can kind of roll it all the way around there, which is very nice. Um, and then the shoulders are jointed but they mostly just go forwards and backwards i do believe we have hinges in there but they are very fused on this figure um also just the way the sculpt is it definitely hinders that a little bit so i don't think you're going to get a huge range of movement out of those there we go Ooh, i had to pop that loose a little bit um that's kind of been a thing with the neck of figures too is that the joints have a tendency to be painted over which makes them very tight sometimes so you can work them loose kind of like i just did sometimes if it helps you can use the warm hair dryer method kind of heat it up and that will help you loosen it up as well but there's your uh, distance with the shoulder joints there then you do have uh double joints at the elbows actually so look at that pretty decent range of motion there and then i already showed you that the wrists are on just like little peg joints there so they can swivel around and they pop right out of socket we got a cut there at his midsection which allows his body to look left and right kind of roll around but not too terribly much there we go actually there we go again it was stuck that actually moves a lot more than I initially thought. That's pretty nice. That's actually going to be good for some flying poses. Look at that. You can actually get his head looking forward, which is very, very nice with this guy. That's good. 
Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything else at the waist there. We got ball joints there, ball and sockets there at the thigh, so the legs can spin all the way around. You do have a single knee joint there. You don't get a huge bend with it. Uh, in fact, my right knee is pretty fused together there, but the left knee, you can see it's just slightly bending there. And then the ankles do have the rock that goes side to side, as well as the standard joint that goes forwards and backwards. I've totally got some paint chipping while I'm doing that. All the joints do seem really tight. Some of them overly tight, but tight enough where he doesn't feel loose. Um, honestly, he feels like I've been able to move him around with nothing breaking, which is really nice. And you can see we can pose him around, so that is pretty cool. So I want to go ahead and bring in Screw Loose. Of course, he is a much smaller figure. It is cool to get like a fully painted, fleshed out Screw Loose figure, though. He was like a one of the pack-in buddies in the vintage toy line, so he was unpainted and yellow. Um, but, you know, very cool looking. I love the bright colors on there. Again, he's got the weird little tail on the back that can swivel around. He also has wings that have the hinge joints, so that basically can kind of flap forwards and backwards, as well as rotate around. So you can point them downwards if you want, or up there. He's got four arms which is really cool and those are all got the ball and hinge joints there so um they're a little tight but again you can move them up and down there swivels at the elbow single joint at the elbow swivel at the wrist and hinges at the wrist look at that just like that there and it's the same articulation on all four arms now you can see i've got lots of paint flaking going on so it's exposing like the white uh, joint there so that is a bit of a bummer i mean ugh, look at this ah oh, i hate that that is just Man, that is such a bummer that the paint flakes off the way it does. Uh, so you can rotate the head all the way around. It is ball jointed up in there, you can see. And then the legs, you can see, got those ball joints as well, so they can spread outwards. You got swivel at the knee. You do have a bend at the knee. And then the ankles have a standard joint as well as the rock, so you can go side to side on there. So pretty nice amount of articulation in this little guy here. And one more little pack-in bonus that you get is one of the NECA flight stands. Now, this is just like the flight stands that they sold individually. Oh, my God. I got these paint chips everywhere. This is crazy. So this is just like those clear NECA flight stands that they sold individually. You might have already had these before. They are all right. Um, you can see you got notches there so you can raise the stand upwards. So that's pretty nice. You got articulated arm here. Um, and then you can open and close the C-clamp. I've always found that the clamp pops off very easy on these. You can see it's a real loose joint. So figures have always tended to fall out of these when I've tried to use them in the past. And it's definitely happening with these as well. Now, I don't think this was really meant for wing nut because uh, this C-clamp doesn't really do a good job of fitting around this big fat body and I think he is way too heavy for this. So this is definitely going to be more meant for screw loose here. So that way you can get some cool little flying poses with him sort of, you know, over the shoulder of wing nut there kind of posing him as his little sidekick buddy and you can see it's actually working pretty well for that. All right, guys, it's comparison time. I want to go ahead and send these guys alongside their vintage action figure counterparts from Playmates Toys. Again, that vintage wingnut figure is one of my all-time favorite action figures. It was one of my favorites from the original Ninja Turtles line. So it's pretty cool looking at these guys side by side. You can definitely see the similarities, but of course, uh, had a lot more of those like really crazy grody, like gross out details on the vintage toy. Whereas the new one is a little more sleek because he looks like his animated counterpart. And again, comparing the screw loose is pretty awesome because now we finally have a fully painted version of the character. So there you go, my friends. There is a look at the brand new Wingnut and Screw Loose action figures from the folks over at NECA Toys. Overall, I do really like these. I really do think my only complaint is all that paint flaking off. Again, that seems to be a pretty consistent issue with these. It happens a lot. You could see it was happening a whole bunch while I was moving the joints around on these guys. Aside from that, they do feel good. They feel sturdy. They look really, really nice. And I'm a big fan of these characters, so I'm very happy to be adding these to my personal collection. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning, one of the things that was great was that NECA just offered these for sale on their website. It was very easy to order these and they shipped right away. It wasn't even a pre-order. It was amazing. But also, these seem to be readily available at Target stores. I've seen lots of people posting pictures of these being all over Target. So it really seems like these are going to be some of the easier ones to find. So happy hunting, my friends. And thank you guys so very much for watching. Until next time.